Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It is your boy Lifting Fishing Life here once again. Um, we're starting, we're actually gonna officially start, hopefully, hopefully we'll get through it, week one of uh, Noah's Progressive Program today. So what that calls for is, uh, it's that same workout with the, the snatch with the overhead squats. So it'll probably, I think it was my first workout video that, that was on my YouTube channel. So it's gonna be that same workout. Hopefully today we can move up to something maybe a little heavier. I don't really know. We'll see. Like, not feeling the best. I didn't get a ton of sleep last night. I got a decent amount. Not a ton though. So uh, anyway, I guess I'll catch you guys at the gym. Sorry if I'm feeling a little uh, off today. I'm just a little bit tired. You know how it is, it happens. Uh, anyway, I'll catch y'all later. Wish me luck. All right, guys. So what I ended up doing was a uh, was a six by one with the overhead squat, uh, the snatch plus overhead squat. Well, really, it's kind of a power snatch plus overhead squat. And what I did was, you know, as you can see, one forty five for the first three sets. I did one sixty five for the second three sets. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about today was rigid being a rigid lifter or just a rigid person in life or being a fluid person in life and what i mean by that is like if you're a more rigid person you're up 6 a.m every day you're eating 6 30 every day you're in the gym 7 every day and you're out of the gym by 9 every day you're in class by you know 9 30 whatever you know and um uh, it's it, the Okay, uh, and this rep I didn't like, by the way. See, I kind of caught it with my arms, and, you know, I corrected that. I figured out what I needed to do to correct that going forth. I needed to, to drop my hips a little bit lower. But anyway, so being a, rig being a, a rigid lifter, man, that's, that, was, that, was, that used to be my thing, man. I used to always want to be on a cold schedule, a hard schedule, so I, I couldn't cheat myself, you know, as I did today. I did cheat myself today, and I did not complete my workout today. But you know what? I have a newborn, and that affects a lot of things. It, it affects your sleep schedule. It affects the way you feel every day. It affects, I mean, my love meter went straight through the roof too. Like, it, you know, it obviously comes with with incredible benefits. I mean, mainly benefits, to be honest with you. But it definitely affects those physical things such as sleep quite a bit. So, you know, it's going to be hard for me to be rigid now. And I'm not too sure if I will be able to be rigid now. And here's the where I start these hand cleans. This sets at 165. And the rest of them are at uh, 185. Nothing really crazy special on these. On that last set, on 185, I could definitely feel it in my um, in my glutes and in my lower back. The posterior chain was on fire after this. After uh. Well, really, I mean, it started at like the, the third set or so is when they started really getting it. And I think it's because when I dropped that bar like there, that movement uh, puts a lot of strain stress on that lower back and those glutes. But I think at the end of the day that I'm working with such submaximal weight that it shouldn't be a big deal as long as I don't just always do hand cleans for some reason. But like... I wish that I could still be this rigid lifter, but uh, at the end of the day, that wasn't God's plan for me. God had something else in store for me, and that's fine, and I love what God does have in store for me, but I just got a lot on my plate right now, and I can't exactly prioritize um, lifting and making these videos as number one. I do want this channel to flourish, and I do want this channel to grow. And I do want to document my progress throughout my lifting career. But, no, there's no buts. That's going to happen. I'm doing that. Uh, I'm not giving up on that, period. So, y'all definitely expect more videos because I'm going to try and record every training session. I've been trying to get headphones out of my freaking ears because for some reason... You can see now it's getting really, really, sorry, sorry for the side note, I always just randomly rant as I'm watching the video, but you can see it's getting real taxing on those glutes on that lower back, now you can see on my face, but um, 
Yeah, that was a hip shot out on that last uh, front squat. Lastly, I just did a, a, a set of 30 on leg press because I was running out of time. I just had three plates on whatever the plus whatever the weight of the leg press is. So it wasn't too bad. But anyway, um, expect more videos. Definitely, guys. I'm not giving up. I got this 100%. I want to get that out there and make a fishing video soon. But uh, it just seems like every time I try... I'll never, I'll, I'll barely catch any fish or I'll, uh, or something will come up and I can't go fishing. So hopefully very, very soon we'll get another fishing video out because I freaking love to go fishing. Um, but yeah, guys, so tell me what you guys think about being a fluid person. Like, I guess I kind of didn't even really cover that that much. Crap, dude. <sighs> Whatever. One take gang. What I'm saying is I'm about to have to learn to be fluid. I'm about to have to learn to to work around a schedule that is not created by me. It's created by circumstance. So, I mean, if anybody's got any tips about that, that'd be great. Because I really don't know how I'm going to do this. Because I got work. I got work that's coming up. I'm going to work like probably about 24 hours a week. And lifting and school it's gonna get crazy guys uh and newborn come on newborn <laughs> wish me luck guys i'm praying for y'all y'all pray for me amen